Hi everyone, it's me, Guy, back again with another Science Behind video. And we're down in South Yorkshire at Broomhead Reservoir, where we come to meet Tom, who's a resource engineer, who's gonna give me some more info all about reservoirs. So let's get to it. So, Tom, how's it going? All right, Guy, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you, yeah, Very yeah. Good, uh, yeah, so as Guy's mentioned, I'm Tom. Uh, I'm a resource engineer in South Royal Water team, and we're here at Broomhead. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's, got, uh, it's got a few perks. It's a nice, uh, nice old site. Uh, we're just going to have a walk around today, uh, show you a few bits about the res. Excellent. Come on, let's, uh, let's go have a look. Sound. This isn't bad, is it? No. Uh, as I said, it's got its perks. It's quite a pretty site. Day to day here, we, we spend time inspecting uh, the dam uh, primarily. Uh, that's our main main role, making sure that's safe and uh, operating as it should be. Uh, no leaks, no uh, no issues, and making sure the water treatment works get the water that they need. Um, other things could include ma uh, bits of maintenance, you know, weed control, that sort of thing, um, even stonework at times. Yeah, we're dabbling everything. <laughs> and basically, if, it, if it's involved with maintaining these structures, we uh, we we deal with it at bit, some point. It's so like a bit of DIY and yeah. stuff like that. You've got to have a dab on. So how, so how does what you do then contribute to the water that's coming out of our taps? So we're the guys that capture the water, uh, hold it in the um, in the reservoirs, and um, basically send it down to the water treatment works. So we're the source. You're the source. <laughs> I like that. Ready, ready, getting it ready for treatment. Yeah. Um, so we'll we'll operate the valves that um, that send the flow out downstream. So obviously we're at Broomhead. Mm -hmm. um, where does it supply? So Broomhead supplies um, it's part of Sheffield. Right. Um, it, it's treated at Uden Water Treatment Works and sent on its way from there you know, to the various outreaches of our network. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, down into Sheffield. Yeah. And when was it built? Uh, so Broomhead. The idea was conceived in the late 1800s, so about 1860. Uh, the development didn't start on it until 1916, I believe. Uh, finally completed in 1929, and first filled in the mid 30s. Um, so, a more recent dam. <laughs> We're just uh, effectively going through a regular dam inspection, I guess. Oh. Uh, it's very visually oriented. Um, Which is good. Yeah, uh, the Mark 1 eyeball, nothing can beat it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so at the minute we're walking the mitre of the dam, which is where it joins the abutment of the valley. Uh, the reason we walk the mitre is uh, because if there was any water escaping around the outsides of the dam, this would be the natural place uh, for it to sort of flow down. Right. Um, off the abutment of the valley side. Um, it's also a good vantage point for the rest of the embankment. Yeah, so this stone, uh, this stone work forms part of a, uh, an intricate drainage system on site. Um, I thought of everything back in the day. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a way of getting water away from the dam uh, and allowing us to monitor it uh, to make sure nothing untoward's going on. Minimum three times a week, uh, we'll, we'll walk these dams. Um, you know, the more the better, yeah. the more eyes you've got on them. Um, and the more you look at it, the more you notice change, which is what we don't want. Um, us resource engineers like normality. Uh, so now we're coming up to the spillway of the dam. Uh, this is where excess water is released during heavy rainfall. So where basically when it's full, it comes down here uh, and downstream. Um, so we're just coming up here to uh, give it a quick look over and make sure everything's as it should be. Is there anything you'd be looking for in particular? <laughs> <laughs> To put it bluntly, cracks. Oh, uh, right, but there's okay. a lot of other subtle uh, little uh, things that we can look for, you know, yeah. um, that are potential indicators of things that shouldn't be. Uh, shouldn't be here. Yeah, uh, or shouldn't be happening. Uh, but looking at it so far, just a quick visual, everything looks all right and in order, and exactly as it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no changes. Yeah, no changes. Normality is our best friend uh, in, in, in resource engineering. Um, so as long as it all looks the same, mm -hmm. you're happy. We're happy. Yeah. Definitely. It's hard to like get your head round that this was man-made. It, it were impressive. Yeah. I'd like to have seen it. 
Uh, some of the old engineering is quite interesting. Uh, you know, some of these stones you can still see the old tooling marks where they've carved them out. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, you can see how that's been carved out. Someone literally spent their time with a hammer and chisel knocking that out. Uh, on, on some of them, you can still see the tool marks, which is quite impressive. Uh, you've got to think each individual stone in this uh, this tail bay and spillway um, was placed here by someone um, back back uh, back then. You've got to think there's not just this dam. Yorkshire Wall has got about 130 odd, I believe, in its area. Um, and there's a guy allocated to each one uh, to inspect, maintain, yeah. uh, and look after it. So, wow. yeah, important job uh, done by a select few, which is quite nice. What are the dangers of swimming in reservoirs? So, uh, the temperature in the water is extremely cold all year round. Uh, this can lead to cold water shock, which can kill. Uh, they are operational assets, um, so there is equipment and some automated machinery in them, uh, which you won't know about. Um, there's underwater currents, uh, the banks leading down to them are extremely slippery uh, and muddy, which can lead to entrapment. And uh, they're up to 50 metres deep in places uh, with hidden drop-offs, which you wouldn't see until you were in there. It's not worth risking your life, don't do it. Um, so are there any sort of questions you get a lot while you're out? Um, you, the most common one is why we refer to uh, reservoirs as IREs, uh, as it says on the name sign just here. Um, it basically stands for impounding reservoir, which is what Broomhead is. And ah. Just a brief explanation of that is an impounding reservoir is a reservoir that fills up via a natural catchment, uh, similar to what Granville were talking about on your last episode. So do you have to do anything about releasing water from the reservoir then? Uh, yeah, uh, there's two ways that we release water from here. Uh, the first being uh, via a pipeline to the water treatment works, and that goes off obviously to be tre uh, yeah. for drinking water. And the other, uh, we have to do regular scour tests uh, just to make sure reservoir safety standards are being uh, met. Right. Um, which, funny enough, we're actually doing one in a couple of days if you want to tag along. Oh cool, yeah, yeah, I'm up for that. Sound, see oh, you there. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, see you there, that'll be good. So we've come over to Dam Flask Reservoir, is that mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. So Dam Flask Res, um, why, we, why have we come over here then? Uh, we've come over here to do a, uh, a, a six monthly scour test, uh, which is our way of testing the uh, reservoir safety valves are still working properly, okay. as they should be. Good. Uh, so in case of an emergency, uh, we, we can uh, let some water out of the dam. Uh, so we're uh, currently operating the uh, downstream valve. Um, we're effectively releasing water from the dam. Uh, this is to ensure that A, water can still be released uh, and the valve is in operable condition. Uh, when, once water has been released, we're looking for, uh, we'll monitor that for a while. Effectively, the scour is releasing any trapped silt uh, and debris from behind the upstream valve to clear the main and make sure everything's clear and working. That was how do we look after our reservoirs. Big thank you for Tom for showing us around. It's a really good day. Great to see the scour test and have a look around the reservoir, you know, get the tour and see how it all works. And please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it amongst your friends, and drop us a comment in the section below if you've got any questions about reservoirs or anything we've missed or that you'd like to know more about or just any general thoughts, you know, let us, let us know down there. And until the next video, I'll see you later. Bye.